Hello world, a few days ago a Russian was sent to prison in the US for five years. His crime? Providing bulletproof hosting services. But what is bulletproof hosting? And does it really have anything to do with bulletproofing servers? No. Well, sometimes. The internet's a crazy place. If there's an audience for something, there's going to be a website catering to that audience. Even the most depraved content needs to find somewhere to live. Web hosters of course know this. Any legal hoster will have an array of awful things in their terms of service that they're just going to ban you for hosting and probably call the cops over. Specifically, this is GoDaddy's terms. And yes, I'm probably the first person to have ever read through them. Not the most enjoyable read, 0 out of 10 would not recommend, but I had to make the point that they're very strict. And in case they come across something they have forgotten to add in, a catch-all clause at the bottom gives them the right to removal disable access to any content at any time and without notice. Oh, and by the way, this isn't an ad for GoDaddy or some kind of endorsement of them. I do have my own beef with them. When they're not procrastinating on making the DNS changes you requested, they're busy being hacked. But they did have some half funny ads back in the noughties. There are two sides to GoDaddy. There's the sexy side represented by Bar Raffaelli, and the smart side that creates a killer website for your small business represented by Walter. Together, they're perfect. Anyway, whilst a legal hosting company is going to have rules, and a lot of them, a bulletproof hoster has comparatively few rules, and the more depraved among them lack any rules. This is essentially the main selling point of a bulletproof hoster. They're willing to host anything, from illegal marketplaces to things much more depraved. Essentially, if a legal hoster won't touch it, you can bet there's going to be a bulletproof hoster that will. Think malware, botnet command and control servers, black market sites, CSAM, and so on. Different bulletproof hosters have different rules. Some will prohibit certain content, whereas others don't care and will allow literally anything. You're probably thinking, but this stuff is illegal anyway. Surely stooping to this level is just going to get your data centers raided. And yeah, it will, which is why bulletproof hosters tend to prefer to base themselves in certain countries. Now, of course, the things that bulletproof hosters host are illegal pretty much everywhere. I don't think there's a country which will welcome any of these things per se. However, what you find is that some countries turn a blind eye to certain types of illegal content, or just don't make tackling it much of a priority. These are the countries which bulletproof hosters usually swarm to. Places like the US aren't usually the go-to choice for these kinds of guys. However, there are exceptions, one big example being Macolo.com. It's represented such a stain on the internet, by hosting spammers in particular, that when it was shut down in 2008, global spam emails fell by about two-thirds. This represents spam emails per second being recorded by SpamCop, a spam reporting service. The first part was recorded when Macolo was active, after being shut down, and then it picks up a couple of weeks later when spammers started migrating their servers elsewhere to other bulletproof hosts. However, Macolo is kinda ancient history by internet standards, having first popped up almost two decades ago. And I noticed the Macolo.com domain is on sale for only two grand if you want a piece of internet history. Nowadays, bulletproof hosters like to base themselves offshore in places like Seychelles, Ukraine, or Russia. This frustrates Western law enforcement because they can't do much other than ask kindly for their servers to be taken offline. And when these hosting companies do receive abuse reports that an IP address they control is doing naughty things, they either ignore the report or immediately inform the customer who can just move their infrastructure elsewhere, thus frustrating the whole process to the point where it's not even worth making an abuse complaint. And in some cases, it's not even possible to lodge an abuse complaint, because some bulletproof hosters employ certain features like DNS fastfluxing to hide their true IP addresses. In fastfluxing, instead of a domain pointing directly to the server, it's made to point to a proxy, which then itself points to the server. The proxy the miscreants use is rotated, sometimes every few minutes. This makes figuring out where the traffic is really being routed difficult. If IP addresses used for hosting nefarious things are identified, they may be added to an IP blacklist. One of the more popular ones is hosted by a company called Spamhouse. Their drop list, or don't root or peer list, consists of hundreds of net blocks that are in the hands of spammers or cyber criminals. These lists are often used by ISPs. Any traffic from these IPs will just be discarded. However, funnily enough, these lists are often monitored by bulletproof hosters themselves who will move their clients to new infrastructure if their IPs are flagged. In fact, the Russian guy I mentioned at the beginning of the video was observed doing just this. In the past few years, some criminals have moved their operations away from bulletproof hosting onto the dark web, only accessible through Tor. 
Dark web marketplaces are of course the best example of this, as they pretty much exclusively all use Tor, because as far as anonymity goes, it's the best you're going to get. However, Tor isn't the best option for all illegal activity. It does have its speed and reliability issues, and there's the fact that the IPs of all Tor nodes are public, so it's easy to identify if traffic is coming to or from Tor. This inherently makes that traffic untrustworthy to many services. As long as cyber criminals need somewhere to host their illegal wares, someone will be willing to fill the gap in the market. Let me know in the comments, do you want to see videos on some of the more notorious, now defunct bulletproof hosters? One of the most famous is Cyberbunker. They hosted their servers in a literal nuclear bunker in the Netherlands. Cyberbunker was one of the few bulletproof hosters which really took the bulletproof aspect literally. This video was made possible by Integrity, Europe's biggest bug bounty platform, allowing you to make hard cash in exchange for finding and reporting security vulnerabilities. Integrity stands out based on their focus on their community, with monthly challenges, weekly newsletters, and their own YouTube videos in which they cover new tools and hacking techniques. Despite amassing over 40,000 active security researchers, they maintain blazing fast triages, typically getting back to reports in under 24 hours. Integrity uses your goals and skills to connect you with their ever-increasing array of over 200 active programs with millions of bounties already paid out. Join Integrity's vibrant and growing community today. Create an account via the link in the video description. If you enjoy this kind of video, make sure to help me out by fondling the like button for the YouTube AI, as well as turning on them sub notifications. And if you want to see what goes on behind the scenes, make sure to follow me on the Instagrams. I'm at Jonty. I will of course link it in the description. And if you're looking for something to watch next, go check out my previous video on North Korean hackers posing as Samsung employees. As always, sources will be linked in the video description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.